Like, you should legit kill yourself, bro. Like, you should commit suicide, because all you do is hurt little kids, man. You're a pedophile. Okay, so I don't think anyone expected this to happen. So if you weren't aware, there's been a piece of news that has dropped in the GTA Online community, like like a 25 kill streak on Rust. And that of course is the arrest of one John Gillen, otherwise and better known as JK Gamers, for, and I genuinely can't believe I'm saying this, for nine counts of sexual assault against a minor. Now, this is awful enough, obviously, but the community has discovered after digging around a little bit that his official arrest warrant shows that these nine counts of sexual assault against minors was actually done against one of his own family members. Now, whether that's a distant relative like a cousin, niece or nephew, or god forbid, one of his own children, nobody really knows for sure. It's also worthwhile to point out that JK Gamer's channel and all of his social media profiles have been deleted. Now, of course, people have made a few videos talking about this topic already, but I want to take a step back and look at all the information and make more of a informative video discussing what's going on, talking about the nature of his charges and whether or not they're likely to be true, and to talk about the punishment JK Games may potentially face, as well as discussing the community response surrounding this news. So firstly of course, we need to talk about the charges themselves, and how he came to be arrested. We were first alerted to this entire situation when an article, posted by a local news site from the state of Illinois where JK Games lives, reported on a Bloomington man being arrested for alleged sex offences against a juvenile. As the article says, the arrest of John A. Gillen, once again, who is JK Gamers, took place about 1.10pm on August 19th after a long-term investigation stemming from a complaint filed in 2019. Now, this is very important. This two-year-long federal investigation into JK Gamers' alleged crimes is a very, very important detail you need to take note of. You see, this isn't this isn't just some call me Carson situation we're talking about here, where there's like some stupid Twitter allegation. This isn't even an EDP situation where he was caught attempting to commit the crimes, JK is being accused and charged of. No, this was a serious federal investigation that spanned two years. We're now at the end of it. They've arrested him for nine counts of sexual assault against the juvenile. Nine is such a weirdly particular number as well. The fact that the police and the federal investigators were comfortable with arresting him after a two year investigation for, you know, not one, not two, not three, but nine whole counts likely proves they have some sufficient evidence to charge him for each of these nine offences. This is why I'm comfortable at the time of this recording with the information we're able to access. It's my opinion that JK Gamers has likely indeed committed these alleged crimes. JK Gamers on the 17th of September is going to be formally informed of his charges, and this is where he'll choose to either plead guilty or non-guilty, and where he will be told the total of the bail he will have to pay in order to be released until his trial, which of course the date is currently unknown. But beyond this though, we need to talk about the potential punishments JK Gamers may face for his alleged crimes. For the state of Illinois where JK Gamers lives, he is of course being charged with 9 counts of criminal sexual assault, which is, in this particular instance, defined by a person sexually abusing someone who is under 17 years of age. Now the penalties for one charge of criminal sexual assault, which is classified as a class 1 felony, is an absolute minimum of 4 years, leading to a maximum of 15. However, it is stated that each additional offence is punished with a more severe sentence. However, since JK has been previously imprisoned for armed robbery, which is considered a class X felony, as you can see here, that if a defendant is convicted of a criminal sexual assault, and he was convicted of an offence that was considered substantially equivalent, he may potentially receive a minimum of 30 years, with a maximum of 60. On top of it, he must also remain registered as a sex offender for the rest of his life. So, in short, JK Gamers isn't looking like he's going to do too well for the time being. Obviously, I hope that JK, if proven to have committed these crimes, he faces justice and his victim slash victims can somehow find peace with what's happened and that they can somehow recover from this awful thing that's allegedly happened to them. But now that you know what we're dealing with exactly, I just want to talk about the community response in regards to JK a little bit. Now, JK Gamers almost had 100k subscribers at one point, and many of you watching this video are likely ex-supporters of his. Now, I just want to say that despite what some of you may be feeling, you're not a fault for supporting him in the past. I mean, nobody could have predicted this turn of events. Obviously, it's clear now that he's manipulated people into thinking he was a good guy. Even his worst enemies could never even imagine that he was hiding this. He pulled the wall over the eyes of me, of, of you, of his family, of, of the authorities. You're not at fault for thinking he wasn't capable of this. JK Gamers is the one at fault for manipulating and lying to the community to make you believe he wasn't actually capable of this. Nobody at the time had access to this information. And now that his manipulation won't be able to work, I imagine you've probably changed your mind about the type of person he is. And that's the most important 
important part, that's what matters here. I mean, I've even had my own beef with JK Gamers, and despite me criticising and taking issue with his character, I, I literally couldn't even begin to imagine he was he was capable of, of this. I mean, what's insane is, when you look back at times when JK was copyright struck by GTA Gentleman, and he rallied everyone in the community to his defence by saying that he had a family to feed, and now later on, we found out he was diddling his family all along. He clearly never cared about them at all, and he was using them as a shield against GTA Gentleman. I guess I'm just saying that I'm sort of still in shock that this has happened. I mean, this is a person that I and many of us have spoken to in the past. I, I mean, just look at this. His old comment is still pinned on my first video talking about him, where he said that he looks good in this video. Like, like talk about a comment that's like aged like rotten mouldy, absolutely the crack milk. Uh, th this is this is in this is incredible here. He, he said he, he looked handsome in this comment too. I mean, I, I don't know about this video here, but I, I know for a fact Big Bubba will absolutely love him, and he'll definitely find him handsome when he runs into him in the prison showers. Bubba will absolutely make a make great use of a five one manly chomo like him. I mean, he may have he may have likely lost his wife after all this was exposed, but I know he's gonna be I know he's gonna be Bubba's wife behind bars. He, he's literally gonna be carrying J.K. around in his purse like 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 a little pet chihuahua. He's gonna be passed around in there like like an AIDS infested crack needle in a smack den. Okay, 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 I I'm done now, I promise. But this is actually a good segue into something else I want to talk about regarding the community. Now, naturally, as with anything like this, people have begun to meme on JK, which I say is f fair enough. People like this should honestly be ridiculed. But, of course, a, a few other people are saying that memes and joking about JK shouldn't be allowed because he has a family, amongst other reasons. And to that I say, if we're not allowed to ridicule and make fun of the worst dregs of our society, some of the worst people doing the worst things because they have a family, then who can we make fun of exactly? Take EDP for example, can we not make fun of him? I mean, he has a family. What about the likes of Lion Maker and other notorious predators that have been exposed on YouTube? I mean, they have families. C can we joke about them? I mean, I mean, we can take this absolutely further. What about all the tryhards you make fun of on GTA Online for playing like, like a rat? I'm pretty sure they have families too. Right? Yeah, I I'm pretty sure you've all made fun of them. I mean, I've been made fun of for various things by some of you. I have a family. You've, you've made fun of people like Loki Extra and Past Beef. Wait, do doesn't he have a family? This is a clear example of a hypocritical standard that can and will never be met consistently by these people, despite pushing for it so hard in this scenario. And they're only likely applying it for Jake because they have supported or continue to support him. Everyone you've ever made fun of in your life has had a family. And uh, uh, just to point it out, I bet those people were far less deserving of being made fun of than someone who has been charged with nine counts of sexual assault against a minor. And in those other instances where you made fun of someone with a family, you likely thought it was okay. But when people make fun of someone actually massively deserving of being made fun of, you somehow take issue with it. This is an awful point. Stop making it and stop inadvertently defending JK's pride and honour. He doesn't deserve it. But honestly, with all that being said, I think we're at the end of the video. Um, once again, I feel for the victims most out of this situation, and I hope JK receives the correct amount of justice he is deserving of. Take care everyone, and goodbye.